this is the train from Wroclaw to Poznan on Pol Rail. First class cabin, Pol Rail train to Poznan. These are the second class cabins. So I have just tried Hoop, which is the local version of Coca-Cola. We take it in Poland and it's very nice. I believe they have these in Russia as well, these little kind of holiday cottages where people go in ten little gardens. And, uh, very cute, very tranquil. The Garden Boutique Hotel in Poznan. Nice place. Well, I don't know about things, so. Nice bathroom as well. This is Poznan Town Hall. Poznan's Renaissance Town Hall, topped with a 61 meter high tower, instantly attracts attention. This graceful form replaced a 13th century Gothic structure which burned down in the early 16th century. Every day at noon, two metal goats appear through a pair of small doors above the clock and butt their horns together 12 times, in deference to the old legend, to an old legend. These days the town home hall is home to the city's historic museum. So these are the fish sellers' houses. South of the town hall is the endearing row of small arcade buildings. They were built in the 16th century of, on the site of fish stalls and later reconstructed after major World War II damage. The history of Poznan and the history of Poland were much the same thing in the nation's earliest days. The city was founded as a 9th century settlement on the easily defensible island of ostro tomski during the reign of Poland's first ruler, Duke Miesko I. Some historians even claim that it was here, not in Giesno, that the Duke's baptism took place in 966. <laughs> Former Jesuit school, now a dance school. The girls like Max, huh? Intense. Yes, as Max can be very intense. intense. <laughs> Franciscan Church. Just west of the Rheineck is this richly decorated Baroque church. Its chapel in the left transept has a carved oak altar and a tiny, repeatedly miraculous image of Saint Mary. This is Pak Wolonski. This is Place Rata Gestigo and it's just west of Poznan Old Town Centre. Michelle getting some ice cream. Architecture exhibition at the Cultural Centre in Poznan. View from the Poznan Cultural Centre. Contemporary art at the Cultural Centre. This 
is monuments to the victims of June 1956. On Plak Wikiwitsa, you'll find one of Poznan's most significant memorials, which commemorates the ill-fated workers' protests of 1956. The monument, consisting of two 20-meter tall crosses bound together, was unveiled on 28 June 1981, the 25th anniversary of the strike, at a ceremony attended by more than 100,000 people. Park Mikiwitsa. Okay, we're going to have some tapas and white wine tonight at the Pika Pika Spanish restaurant in Poznan. The Pika Pika Tapas Bar. Awesome. World War II weapons. Looks like there's a Luger pistol back there. Pictures of Polish forces in Afghanistan. Polish military outfits. So here's a full outfit here. Interesting. Polish forces use the French Farmer's assault rifle. Napoleonic weapons. Armour from 1580. This uh, the sword's a bit curvy like a Chris dagger. Mauser stock. Early 20th century Polish military outfits. Early 20th century machine guns. Sten. Lee and Enfield. These look like some type of tank busters. Machine guns. Machine gun. AK-47. Air Force. Mm -hmm. So these are the special Poznan type croissants. About to try one. Cicada at Poznan Castle. In the east towards Poznan Old Town Square. So this is the actual Poznan castle structure, but within it is the Museum of Applied Arts. This museum's collection includes furniture, gold and silverware, glass, ceramics, weapons, clocks, watches and sundials from Europe and the Far East. The Royal Seal of King Prismissal. Of 
observation from Poznan Castle. European goods from the Middle Ages. Indian and Persian weapons from the 17th to 19th century. So this one over here, this mace like one, for instance, is called a shishpa. Very interesting. Eastern weapons from the 18th century. Wow. 18th century Middle Eastern rifles. Middle Eastern handguns. 19th century. Indian shields. Shooting four at once. 16th and 17th century Central Europe artifacts. Seventeenth century Central Europe clocks. Sixteenth century tapestries from Flanders. So this one's the unicorn struggling with the war. And this one here. This one here is the panther struggling with the wolf. So around the 16th century, around 1600 in this region, they started putting these crowns on images of Mary. Very nice. Sixteenth and seventeenth century hunting implements from the Middle East and Europe. The crossbow is from Germany. Pottery and glassware from the Renaissance period in Italy. The Zion Festival of Poznan is held in this building. This is a Poznan Design Festival and they're looking at innovative ways to save and use water. That rug there was actually made from discarded fishing nets. This is a design festival. Park just east of the old town centre on this fine day in Poznan. the Rondla, a Jewish Polish restaurant. What's radish soup? Tomato soup with rice. Chicken with cheese and crumb pork chop. Very Jewish dish. Cream blackberry dessert. Park Wilsona, which is west of the city and is next to the famous Palm House of Poznan. Very beautiful park. Palm House. In Wilson Park there is an over a hundred year old Palm House. The largest in Poland and one of the largest in Europe. It has 17,000 plants of 700 species and subspecies from the warm and hot climates. There's also a rich collection of exotic fishes here. Here we are at the Palm House. Many, many greenhouses here with a great range of flora. <laughs> it's like Mr. B's garden here. Shells at the Palm House. 
Eat the pasta, or we don't eat, really eat the pizza. No, it's like in our reason, we eat the pasta and we eat the pizza, and we eat the pesto. So, you know, it's all very Italian. Wow, look at these succulents. So interesting. Yeah. One of the camouflage type tortoises. These are an array of predatory plants. Piranhas. One big catfish. Yeah. Okay, from what I can gather, this statue is something about Perseus and Andromeda, and perhaps that's the head of a gorgon. Perseus and Andromeda statue. Poznan tram. This is Chopin Park in Poznan. Frederick Chopin. So, some pizzas we ordered, just take out Poznan. It's interesting because there's lots of Italian restaurants around here. It seems very, very popular. Army Monument. This is the cemetery for distinguished great Poles. A lot of the graves are from the 19th century. Perhaps this one was a pirate. Perhaps this is some kind of famous family. So there's some individual graves here and then there's this like stele. All these names on it. This looks like Liz Kolsky. Looks like a former premier of Poland. St. Joseph's Church. St. Joseph's Church, founded in 1617. Market near the old town square. <laughs> which this place is so famous for, well this general region of Europe.
we're at Martin Koskigo Street. Nice tree lined street with a few monuments here. Avenida Shopping Mall. So this is great, like Holy's Buffet at the Shopping Center Food Court. That's what we're going to get for lunch. Notice at this buffet they charge by weight, which is quite common in Poland and very logical.